Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2023 solution. Today we will discuss about the topics and the question related to the linear algebra. We will try to explain all those questions with the help of the shortcut trick so that you can solve in within a one minute. Myself, Dr. Gar, you can simply follow my YouTube channel for finding the various lectures on the GATE's mathematics paper. Else you can simply scan this Telegram channel link where you can join my Telegram group. As we have discussed in our previous lectures, that is a GATE 2022 complete solution on the linear algebra, vector space, LPP, all you can find in my channel, Dr. Harishkar and the playlist GATE Mathematics. So let's start with this one. Now this question is related to the 1, 1, on 2 and share. So there's a very simple question, but uh, you can solve this within a 10 minutes in your examination, but I will tell you the simple tips for you so that will be helpful for the other examination. Say if you have or you can say uh, instead of this, if I say this is a mapping vector space from V to W such that dimension of V is same as that of the dimension of W, then you can say this is 1, 1 if and only if it is on. Make sure this is if and only if provided this condition hold. So in this case, you can see that dimension is 3, dimension is 3. So it means t is 1, 1 if and only if t is on 2. So what is the meaning of that? The a option and the d option, these are cancel out. Now, second property is how you can check a mapping uh, is a 1, 1. It means when you can say if it maps Li vector to the Li vector. That's a simple property of this. That means if I if I define the matrix corresponding to the co corresponding to the domain like from here there is a 1 0 0 second one is 1 1 0 and the third one is 1 1 1 this is the mapping corresponding to here similarly I can define the mapping corresponding to the range 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 2 so if you prove that this is my ally this is my ally then it is a 1 1 and by using this result it is on 2 as well how you prove that it 1? So if you prove that the determinant is a non-zero, then it's a 1, 1. What is the determinant? Determinant is my 1, which is a non-zero. It means it is L i. What is the determinant of this? If you solve them, it's a minus 1. It's a 2 minus 1 plus 1. It's a, it's, what is that? It's a 0. It's a, uh, it's a 1 minus 0. So what is the answer of this? Minus 1 plus 1, 0. So it means this is not L i. So if it is not Li, it means it mapping is not 1, 1. It is not 1, 1. If it is not 1, 1, then it is not on 2. Hence, the result is my C is the correct answer. Okay, look about the another one. So you, your target is to prove, check whether the matrix is diagonable or not. So that's a very simple. If you prove that it has, it has the distinct eigenvalues, it has a distinct eigenvalue, then it is a diagonable. Second is, if the eigenvalues are not distinct, then you have to prove that they have n distinct linearly independent eigens vector. That's the simple rule behind that. So if I say, if from here, what is the characteristics equation minus, what is the trace of this? Trace of this will be my 4. And plus determinant. What is that determinant? Is my 3. So if you solve them, clearly say that the eigenvalues are my 1 and 3. So if this, they are the distant eigenvalues, so m is my diagonal. But they are talking about the p and q, not for the m. Now you can see what are the eigenvalues of the m8 plus m18. m has the eigenvalue 1 and 3. So it has eigenvalue this and here. 3 raised to power 8 clearly says that these are the distinct eigenvalues. So it means yes, it is a diagonal. So if P is the correct option, so this and this options cancel out. Similarly, if you look about the Q, again you can see it has the eigenvalue 1 plus 1 and second is 3 raised to power 7, 3 raised to power 9. Both has the distinct eigenvalue, so it is also the correct statement about that. So both P and Q are my correct statement. Look about the another one. So now here is the concept of the minimal polynomial. So what is what is the minimal polynomial? So how you can check that whether it's a minimal polynomial or not? So if you have the matrix A, your target is to prove that it is a diagonal. 
if you prove that it's a diagonalizable then it has a minimal polynomial of linear nature so that's a, one of the most important concept for you if you prove that it is a diagonalizable then it means it has a minimal polynomial of the linear form and you can see if you prove it is a diagonalizable then it's a linear nature it means b c and d option are cancel out so how you prove that diagonalizable you have to find the eigen values but that is not an easy task for you then the second rule is if you prove that if i prove if i prove from say r raised to power n to r raised to power n it's said to be a diagonalizable if and only if some of the geometric multiplicity is n if you prove that for this matrix some of the geometric multiplicity is my same dimension then it is a diagonalizable but what is the geometric multiplicity that is my dimension of nullity of a minus lambda i if you find how you find the geometric multiplicity the number of this so that's a very simple now if you look about this this the rank is given to you can you find the nullity of this yes you can find easily by using the rank nullity theorem so the dimension is my 4 so 4 minus 3 is a 1 so the dimension of nullity that is a 1 it means the corresponding to the eigen value 3 what is the geometric multiplicity is 1 now look about this equation what is given to you that is a null space what is the dimension of the null space is kernel or nullity so what is that this is a one equation with a four vector so i can express the one in terms of the four so it means nullity of if i consider matrix a there is nullity that's a zero i is equal to what is that is a four minus 1 3 so what is the it means i corresponding to the eigen value zero the geometric multiplicity is my 3 so now what is the sum of this sum is my 4 now according to this what is the n you can see the dimension of the r4 is n so what is the meaning of that it satisfied this property so it means this matrix t is my diagonalizable if it is a diagonalizable then the minimal polynomial is of the linear order so what are the eigen value 0 and 3 so you can write in terms of the minimal polynomial of degree 1 so x minus 0 x minus 3 is the right answer of this problem because these are the non linear so this cancel this is the non linear cancel this is the non linear this is the cancel option okay look about this next one a uh, vector space v that is v is my r4 is given to you m complement that's a orthogonal complement that's a very simple task we all know do you know any relation between the m and the m orthogonal yes this is the direct sum this is the direct sum of this so once you know this is the direct sum what is the meaning of that the dimension of this v is dimension of the m plus dimension of the m complement and your target is to find this part that's over what is the dimension of the v r4 that's a 4 what is the dimension of the m m is given to you as a linear relation they are the four vectors with one relation so i can written as x1 x2 x1 x4 how many linear independent vectors three so three plus dimension of the m complement so what is the right answer of this that's a one is the right answer look at the another one so that's a very simple this kind of the question is already asked in the previous year gate paper you can simply Uh, see in my previous year gate mathematics solutions are there where you, you, where you can find all those gate 2021 gate 2022 and many more are there in the complete playlist that's a very simple there is no need to find the m inverse there is no need to find here you can simply find the eigens values whenever there is a question of the linear algebra try to think about the eigens values what are the eigen values are there 1 2 and 3 that's over now there are the two methods you can write the characteristic equation corresponding to this a minus i a a equal as m m minus 2i m minus 3i then try to solve this one but there is no need of this what is the shortcut trick is take any of the eigen values either one now you can substitute m as here if eigen value of the m has lambda what is the eigen value of the m inverse 1 over lambda so you can substitute it when lambda is 1 then it's a 6 over 
वन स्केयर माइनस सिक्स प्लस एल्फा वट इज आंसर ऑफ दिस सिक्स माइनस वन प्लस सिक्स इज गुड एल्फा एल्फा इज माई इलेवन इज द राइट आंसर ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम दैट्स अ सिंपल टारगेट ऑफ दिस यू मे थिंक यू मे टेक लैमडा इज ए टू देन अगेन यू विल गेट द सेम राइट आंसर सो यू कैन सी लैमडा इज टू देन इट्स ए सिक्स ओवर टू इट्स अ सिक्स टू स्केयर माइनस सिक्स टू ट्वेल्व प्लस एल्फा सो इट्स अ थ्री माइनस फोर प्लस ट्वेल्व इज एल्फा अगेन यू कैन सी इज अलेवन इज द राइट आंसर सिमिलरली यू कैन चेक अबाउट लैमडा इज थ्री बट देर इज नो नीड यू कैन टेक एनी वन ऑफ द वेल ओके लुक अबाउट दिस वन योर टारगेट इज टू फाइंड दैट ट्वेस ऑफ द ए स्केयर दैट्स अ वेरी सिंपल बिकॉज वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट ट्वेस ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स वी ऑल नोज दैट इट्स अ सम ऑफ द आइगन्स वैल्यूज दिस इज माई आइगन वैल्यू सो इफ आई नो ए हैज सम आइगन वैल्यू हियर कैन यू फाइंड द आइगन वैल्यू ऑफ द ए स्केयर दैट इज अ वेरी सिंपल टारगेट सो इट मीन्स माई टारगेट इज टू फाइंड द आइगन वैल्यू ऑफ ए वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस बाई यूजिंग द कैलियम इट्स एन थ्यूरम दैट इज अ ए प्लस दिस जीरो वट इज आइगन वैल्यू ऑफ दिस माइनस ऑफ आयोटा ए हैज अ थ्री क्रॉस थ्री इट मीन्स इट हैज थ्री आइगन वैल्यू सो ए हैज द थ्री आइगन वन आइगन वैल्यू इज माई माइनस आयोटा वी ऑल नोज दैट आइगन वैल्यूज ऑफ द कम्प्लेक्स नंबर और द कम्प्लेक्स नंबर ऑलवेज अकर इन द पेयर तो द सेकेंड आइगन वैल्यू इज माई प्लस ऑफ आयोटा एंड द डिटर्मिनेट ऑफ ए इज थ्री सो वट इज द डिटर्मिनेट ऑफ ए दैट इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द आइगन्स वैल्यू सो आयोटा माइनस आयोटा प्लस आयोटा एंड द थर्ड आइगन वैल्यू इज हियर इज दिस कैन यू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस एयर दिस इज अ थ्री सो इट इज माई हियर द वंस यू नो द आइगन वैल्यू ऑफ ए कैन यू फाइंड द आइगन वैल्यू ऑफ द ए स्केयर दिस इज द आयोटा स्केयर दिस इज द आयोटा स्केयर दिस इज अ नाइन दैट मीन्स दिस वैल्यू इज माई माइनस वन दिस वैल्यू इज माई माइनस वन दिस वैल्यू इज माई प्लस नाइन सो वट इज द ट्वेस ऑफ द ए स्केयर दैट इज द सम ऑफ दिस सम ऑफ दिस इज माई सेवन सो राइट आंसर इज माई सेवन लुक एट दी अदर वन सो वट इज दैट दिस अगेन इट्स अ मिनिमल पॉलोनोमिल सो अगेन वी विल ट्राई टू फाइंड चेक वेदर इट्स अ डायग्जेबल और नॉट दैन इट्स अ लीनियर इन फॉर्म अदरवाइज नॉट हाउ यू कैन फाइंड द आइगन वैल्यू ऑफ दिस सो इफ यू इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड द आइगन वैल्यू यू कैन सी कैन आई कंपेयर दिस वैल्यू विद हियर आई कैन कंपेयर ओनली वेन दिस एंड दिस आर सेम क्लियरली से दैट दे आर सेम सो द आइगन वैल्यूज आर माई फर्स्ट आइगन वैल्यूज टू कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग टू दिस अगेन दे आर सेम आइगन वैल्यूज माई टू कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग टू दिस आइगन वैल्यूज इज माई सेम फोर नाउ नाउ यू कैन सी दैट द जोमेट्रिक मल्टीप्लिसिटी ऑफ दिस इज माई वन जोमेट्रिक मल्टीप्लिसिटी ऑफ दिस इज माई टू and the sum of the geometric multiplicity is my 3 which is here so it is a diagonal otherwise you may also try to prove that the corresponding eigen vectors are ally if you prove that the corresponding eigen vectors of the repeated eigen values are ally then it's a diagonal these are the eigen vectors these are the eigen vectors that's a 1 2 1 and second is 0 1 1 clearly says that these are the ally why look at the first number can you make 1 from the 0 or 0 from 1 no so it means they are ally these are my ally corresponding eigen vector this is my ally so hence it is a diagonal once is a diagonal then the minimal polynomial will be x minus 2 x minus 4 this is my minimal polynomial once this is my minimal polynomial m is my degree of the minimal polynomial so what is the degree of this this is a quadratic equation so degree is my Two. So this answer is my two. Now the only target is to find the a one one and so on. What is the a one one is here? Again, it's a very simple. How you can solve that? If I consider this is my a b c d e f g h i, then what will be the value of a one one here? These are the values of this. Now how you can find these pairs are there? That's again a very simple. If you look about this. there are several methods are there i will tell you the three different method the first method is i can substitute this value here and then i can equate the coefficients on the both side so if you if you multiply this value with a a plus 2b plus c d plus 2e plus f and g plus 2h plus i if you compare them the right hand side is my 2 4 2 this is corresponding the first pair now if you look about the second pair for this pair 
if I multiply 0, 1, 1, so it's a B plus C, E plus F, H plus I. This will be my 0, 2, 2. If you look about the third pair, it's a minus 1, 1. So it's a minus A plus B, minus D plus E, minus G plus H is my minus 4 plus 4, 0. Now your target is to find this pair A, D and G. Your target is to find here. So if you look about this pair, if I add these two pair, what will happen? 2B, we need a 2B. Plus C, plus C will be there. And apart from that, minus A will be here. So if I add them and subtract from here. So firstly, you can add them. It will be minus A plus 2B plus C. It's a minus D plus 2E plus F. It's a minus G, 2H plus I. So if I add them, it will be minus 4. It is a 6. It's a plus of 2. Now, if I say this is my equation number 2, this is my equation number 1. So what you can do, you can simply subtract them. If you subtract them, what will happen? 2 of A is my 6. Second equation is 2 of D is my minus of 2. And 2 of G is my 0. So A is my 3. So that is the first number is 3. Plus this is my minus 1. G will be 0. And M will be my 2. So what is the right answer of this problem? 4 is the right answer of this problem. This is the first method. Second method is because we all know once it's a diagonal matrix then you can write in terms of the P inverse of DP where capital D is my diagonal matrix 2, 2, 4 rest values are my 0. How you find the P? P is the eigenvectors. So first eigenvector is my 1, 2, 2. So I can return as 1, 1, 2, 1, sorry. Second one is 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Third value is minus 1 here. So I can find the P inverse directly from here. Substitute this, you can find the matrix here. Third method is, instead of defining P inverse, you can write this as P of A is DP. Then we know this is the D, this is the P, you can sub product them. And then P is here, equate the coefficient, again you will get the right answer. So this is the way you can find all these eigens values and the corresponding linear algebra quotients. We will see the next lecture on the ordinary differential equation again with the help of the shortcut tricks of the gate 2023. You can simply follow my this uh, GERC telegram channel link where you can find the discussion parts. I hope you can simply like, share and comment on my this video with your friends. Best of luck students. Happy learning.